right away. What the hell were you thinking? I was thinking, boy, I hope that's really warm rain. <laughs> okay, okay, let's focus on today's lesson. Never, ever confuse cupcakes with love. But I love cupcakes. We all love cupcakes. That doesn't mean you have to love the baker. Her mom baked it. You're missing the point. Probably just help with the rest. Okay, okay. She made a smiley face with Red Hot. <laughs> I get it. I'm just saying that when someone freely gives you her cupcake, your only obligation is to enjoy it. There's no reason to get emotionally involved. Why not? Because if you do, the next thing you know, you'll be stuck eating the same damn cupcake for the rest of your life. <laughs> It was a really good cupcake. I can't stop thinking about it. Yeah, I've had cupcakes like that. <laughs> but the thing you got to remember is there'll always be other cupcakes. And if the day should come when you find yourself in a cupcake drought, those days come. Don't kid yourself. <laughs> well, then you just shell out a couple of bucks for a nice ho-ho. How -ho. about <laughs> The booger eater grasped the symbolism. You were talking to my son about sex? He came to me with a cupcake problem. I, I, I thought it was about sex. I was using cupcakes as a metaphor. Geez, the kid got it. <laughs> okay, walk me through the metaphor. Some little girl gave him a cupcake. So okay, okay, stop. Uh, gave him a cupcake? Are we talking baked goods or are we talking some new hip-hop slang? <laughs> baked goods. Told him it was okay to enjoy the cupcake without feeling emotionally obligated to the girl. So, in essence, you just told my son it's okay to have sex with a girl without having any feelings towards her? Lucky for us, he asked me stuff I know about. <laughs> There's no us here. There's no lucky. That, that, that's a terrible lesson. I, mean, I could have done 20 minutes just on licking the icing. <laughs> but I took the high road. Okay, okay, enough. Okay, here's the deal. From now on, all cupcake conversations will be referred to me. Why? You don't know the difference between a ding-dong and your elbow. <laughs> Nevertheless, <laughs> I do not want him learning about relationships from a misogynist. A misogynist? You're saying I'm a misogynist? Yes, Charlie, you are a misogynist. <laughs> I'm a misogynist. Mm -hmm. I'm a misogynist. That is really low, Alan, calling your own brother a misogynist. G-I-N-G-E-N. <laughs> Y-N. Thanks. I do not hate women. Oh, come on, Charlie. If anything, I am the opposite of a misogynist. I'm a pro-misogynist. I love women. Oh, is that so? Even if there's no...